Hello everybody, Rob Cohey, Technical Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. Now at the beginning of this web series, I talked about digital prototyping being a key strategy here at Autodesk. And at the foundation of that strategy is Autodesk Inventor. Now I'm joined by Garen Gardner, who's the Product Manager for Autodesk Inventor. And Garen, I'm really excited about the 2012 line of products. Easy, fast, and open. Let's expand upon those topics a little bit and start with easy. Well, I think to, to echo your sentiments, I'm also very excited. This, is, uh, this has been a great year, and we're really looking forward to getting Inventor 2012 out. Um, you know, as far as uh, easy, a lot of our customers the last couple of years have really expressed interest of various parts of Inventor to be easier. And this is something that we've really taken to heart, and we've done a number of things. Um, one, we've made the, the install and deployment much, much easier. So whether you're a single user just installing it, getting up and going, or a, an IT manager that's wanting to deploy it throughout your organization. Um, you know, a lot smaller footprint, the media footprint is half the size it's been in the past, and just a lot easier to install and get it up and running. Well, that's going to make our CAD managers and, and, and our administrators really happy. Absolutely. From a user standpoint, um, easy to use. I love the new marking menus, which is great for every, from a beginner user all the way through to an advanced user with gesturing and then the new mini toolbars, we've really done a, a lot of great work on those. Yeah, we did a lot of research around Fusion and, and found what users, you know, how they really like to use marking menus, really fine tune that and put it in Inventor 2012. And so far we've had a lot of great feedback from our beta customers. Um, it's very, very fast, very easy. You know, they can automate tasks that, um, you know, that, that took many mouse clicks and going up to the ribbon now, it's just, just a twitch of the wrist and able to, to activate commands. So, you know, between that and finishing out some of the direct manipulation capabilities, um, as you're dragging things like variable fillet radiuses, um, now you can do that, get a great heads up read on, on what you're doing. Um, and then another thing that we did is the help system. We've, done a, we've worked a lot around the help system, making Inventor much easier to, to go in, get help in areas that you may have questions. Um, being able to go out to YouTube, we have a, a wiki. So doing a lot of work around making it much, much easier for users to come up to speed and learn the product. I'm a little familiar with YouTube. I hear that's taking off. You've got a couple things up there, don't you? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the twitching of the uh, marking menus. Exactly, yes. exactly. So uh, I agree. We've done some great things on the easy side of things. Let's move to fast. You want to talk about drawings being fast now. Did, did a great job this year. Yeah, thank you. You know, many of our customers were looking at two or three X improvements around drawings. We're able to have 10x improvements when creating drawing views. That's that's amazing. Yeah, we've done some great things around uh, you know G2 continuity with boundary patches and fillets and everything. What gets the biggest round of applause? Drawings. Drawings. Yep. Faster drawings. Yep, yep, absolutely. It's, it's a real big difference maker. Well, you know, I think the problem now is people won't be able to go and get their coffee and, and wait for a drawing view. You know, <laughs> it's so instantaneous that you, know, you might have to work a little bit more. So we've talked a little bit about easy. We've talked about how, how fast 2012 is. Let's talk a little bit about open. So we, we have a new repair environment that makes it much easier to bring the data in, make changes to it. It's completely associative in Inventor. So um, you know that opens a lot of doors. So, you know our consumer product workflows uh, are, are now much better than, than even years previous. You know, one of the things I like about the repair environment is uh, how it walks you through some of those potential errors. It doesn't just say, hey, you have an error. Right. It says, you have an error, here's where it is, how would you like to fix this error? In Inventor 2012, one of the things that we've done is a lot of heads up. So we pinpoint exactly where problematic areas are. We make it much easier to go and find that and make the change. We're hearing a lot of our customers uh, having the need to exchange information with uh, um, architects and building designers when it comes to building information modeling. Yeah, you know, we've, um, we hear more and more customers trying to get their inventor data into Revit, you know, into the whole BIM ecosystem. And um, we've, we've made it much easier through Inventor 2012. One of the things we did is added a full API support on top of BIM Exchange. We've also made it much easier. They can put in more properties, you know, for the information side of things. So we're really excited. This is something that, you know, there's a huge opportunity. Many customers are trying to get their data into the, the whole BIM ecosystem. And I think this will make it much, much easier for them. I agree. So, Garen, uh, with Inventor 2012, we talked about easy, fast, and open. And I, and I really think it's, it's, it's the sum of all parts that make this release of Inventor a really strong release and one that our customers are going to be really happy with. Do you have any closing thoughts? Yeah, you know, we're really excited about it and I think our customers will be able to leverage a lot of the new functionality, get up to speed, and those power users that have used it for a while will be able to jump in and use these really powerful tools as well. All right, Gary. Thanks a lot. Thank you.